Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the different kinds of roles that you can apply for in the field of data science. This will give you an idea of how broad the field is and perhaps help you find your dream job. Different roles you can apply uh, in the data science industry itself. So the data science industry now has multiple roles in them. If you, uh, what, I can, what I like to call data science industry is uh, all the roles that are involving the use of data. So uh, these are the kind of roles that you would uh, typically have some or the other involvement of data. The first one is the business analyst role where you're essentially trying to understand the business objectives. Uh, you're trying to see how you can contribute to business and then conveying those problems into a maybe uh, a data uh, you're maybe con con converting that business problem into a data problem and conveying it to your more technical teams so you are kind of looking out on how what are the users doing how many users are there how can i uh, how can i account for churn if they're churning how can i look for more growth of avenues using data right so this is what you would do as a business analyst at a company then there's this data analyst role that also that's also something you can apply for uh, and this is also involves you to work with data uh, and this typically requires you to know some sql where you are writing sql queries getting data out of databases and then maybe using that data to uh, run descriptive statistics on top of it uh, maybe you are presenting in the, the 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 results in the form of a report or a dashboard uh, this is the same for a business analyst as well. You might ha also have to do reporting, dashboarding there. But data analysts are a little bit more technical, so they they are uh, able to write SQL queries, some programming sometimes, some uh, Python or R. Uh, but typically, your role is to do a lot of descriptive statistics as a data analyst. Then comes the role of a data engineer who takes care of the pipelines that of data in your company, right? So essentially data exists in a lot of different places. I mean, I'm talking about uh, as your company grows, if you're, if you're part of a bigger company, then uh, data tends to grow in silos because there are a lot of different departments and these departments don't talk to each other often and you have valuable data stored in different departments in different kinds of systems as well. So how do you basically integrate all of this build a pipeline and maybe put it in a data lake or a data warehousing system and allow the user uh, your, your your end users here would be a, typically a data analyst or a data scientist but allow them to consume that data right so as a data engineer you're responsible to build those pipelines uh, and in fact even uh, a lot of these roles are big data engineering roles right like uh, Hadoop or Kafka or all of these things, uh, these technologies are used by data engineers because uh, the moment you start having tons of data coming in, you need systems that can reliably uh, process them and store and data engineers work on that. Uh, so yeah, data engineering role is also in fact a very uh, widely available role in the industry. Not a lot of people realize and this is one role that uh, does not require a lot of mathematical skills because this is more of an engineering role where you're building pipelines, where you're uh, seeing what kind of databases to use, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. Uh, so data engineering is something that you can still look at if, you'd un if you're not keen on the math side of things, if you're not keen on, uh, yeah, if you're not keen on actually doing the extra work that is required for that. Uh, so data engineer is a good role that way. And these are also generally uh, well-paid roles. So that is something you can also look at. Then you have the machine learning engineer role uh, who are typically looking at improving the performance of their models uh, and trying to uh, tune the, the hyperparameters of the models or trying to see, get the best accuracy or best F1 score or best uh, ROC curve or whatever metric they're tracking, right? So machine learning engineers typically are looking to build systems that involve the use of machine learning models 
and uh, their day-to-day -day job is improving the models uh, that they're using, uh, maybe by imp improve, improving the way the data is represented or by tuning that, like I said, hyperparameters or by choosing a different model. So they specialize in that area of the field where they are, <coughs> I'm sorry, where they're responsible for improving the performance of the model uh, day in and day out. Research engineer, research engineers are those kind of, uh, these are far fewer roles, these kind of roles are far fewer because research engineers typically work in, uh, researchers typically work in industries, uh, sorry, uh, in uh, universities and research engineers are typically found in bigger companies like uh, Google or Facebook or your Microsoft because uh, they can afford to do research uh, at that scale. So research engineers typically try and see how they can improve the current state of the art and build better models or build new techniques to do existing tasks, right? Like for example, if you're doing machine translation, uh, you might be uh, using a statistical machine translation model, or you might be using a neural machine translation model, or let's say you're using uh, an LSTM model, how can you build something else, right? Which is not even uh, a part of these families, right? Where you are introducing new research and performing existing tasks better. So you're trying to push the state of the art uh, for the current techniques. This is one example, but there are a lot of research engineers working on different projects. Uh, so yeah, like for example, I think uh, Ian Goodfellow, who he works on GANs a lot, Generative Adversarial Network, he works at Google, right? So he's an example of a research engineer. He doesn't really work on a product, he works at how he can improve uh, GANs itself. Then we have data visualization engineer or BI engineer who typically work uh, with again, a lot of, uh, SQL or again, one programming language to get the data out and visualize it uh, using one of the BI tools like Power BI or Tableau or ClickView or, or all of these tools, right? So uh, they are also very much involved with data in their day-to-day -day activities. So uh, they are put together with a lot of other data roles here. And finally, Data scientist, which is essentially a combination of one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, because you have to understand the business requirements. You have to be able to uh, understand, uh, you have to be able to understand the business requirements, translate that, use SQL or any programming language to analyze. You might have to build some data pipelines yourself, build a model yourself as a machine learning engineer would do, look into the latest research and try and get some research implemented so that also could be a part of your role as a data scientist and then uh, present your findings uh, in the form of a report or a dashboard so data scientist basically is a combination of all of the above roles uh, at a lesser price point if you, if i can say that but yeah so uh, data scientist is essentially all of these things put together but again, you are not specializing in one of them. You are good enough uh, in a variety of these different categories. If you like the video, please do give it a like, comment something interesting or share with your friends. Thank you.